It takes about two or three minutes to mix, right? Yeah, five minutes. To get a nice max. smooth paste. It takes about five minutes max. Can you see it's already going quite smooth? That's what right. you want it to be something like. Right, just keep it all down low. Keep it all low, Jess. Don't be, keep taking all up the sides. Hmm. I got some on my hand. I taste it. It doesn't taste that bad. So, guys, as you can see, it's quite a nice, lovely paste. And now we're going to add our flour in bit by bit because if you pour it all in it will go powdery and it will just fall apart and it won't it will just be everywhere and it won't be very nice so i'm just going to add it bit by bit should i do it with my hands or just this fork just sprinkle it in that's it go on scoop it in or sprinkle it in that's enough yeah mix that in Flour 
Okay, but I mix it. Pickle? You add, you add the last of the flour. Just let me mix no? this bit oh, first. No. Okay. See, Dad must have been a chef in his previous life. He's very good. Okay, let's Ooh, that looks nice. Okay, add the rest of your flour. Mmm. Mmm. Tip it all in. Oh. Can I start using my hands? Soon. Did I get the napkin? Just Yeah. Okay. Does it really matter because I'm going to be. Mm. <laughs> it feels so weird. Oh my. Make sure your hands are nice and clean before you do this. Yep. Actually, squeeze it. It feels so really nice that you can feel the sugar like, in between it so it does like really well. It feels really nice. Bring it forward. Okay. There we go. So that's your mixture and you're ready to roll it out on a board now, right? Yeah, you just have to get it in some sort of circle just to do it because it's very... Hmm. <laughs> Can't see your way over there. That's going to sprinkle the flour around. Ooh, just so you can roll it out. Yep. Yep. Trying to see the flat substance. It doesn't matter about the ends. If they're there, because you could just fix that. <clears throat> Got loads of hands. No, still, still mix it in. Oh, okay. Just mix it a little bit. That's it. It's all falling apart. That's all right. All right. Yeah, now can I start flattening it? Yep. Okay. You don't want to flatten it too much. Okay, use your rolling pin. Okay. Put a little bit of flour on your rolling pin. Yeah. Not too flat. Not too flat. That's it. I'll pat that bit Might be better to fold it in again. I'm gonna stop, 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 stop. Let me put a bit more flour on. Okay. Oh, on it? No, on your pin. I try not to go crazy. You just want to pat it a little bit. That's it. Go on, keep going. Don't tell me that to stop. Stop. Keep going. No, do the edge. That's it. That's it. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, it's got this nice substance. This looks really nice. I just want to gobble that down right now. So that's it. Now we get your get cutters. Cookie cutter. Mm. Cookie cutter. What are you going to do? Circles? Oh, do it right to the cut. edges. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I just want to do a circle one. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Do them really tight together because well, you, you want to get the most out of it. Closer, closer, closer. Yeah. Move over a little bit, that's it. Oh. Yeah. It's over, move over that way. No, I can't anymore. I can't. Oh, you mean here? And maybe I could fit a star in the That's middle? That's what I was thinking. I don't know whether you can. Uh, no. No? No, leave it. Okay, let's take our biscuits out. So guys, this is the leftover. I'm using a knife, but Dad's watching me. It's the leftovers, so I'm going to try and make some fingers. So I've already flattened it out. I just really want to make kind of like, like um, a flat sort of shape. Like, that needs to be brought in there. I 
knife is very useful for this. Just because the rolling pin is a bit too big, so if you just want to get it like a bit smooth, you can just use the knife. Alright, slice into fingers then. Okay. Right. First finger here. No, bigger, bigger, wider, wider. There? Yeah. Cut that down the middle, yeah. Now I just want to try and spread it out. Again, just your muscle edges. That looks right. Now, what you want to gonna do is get a fork. You might not be able to see this, but you just. Make them like traditional shortbreads. That one's really <laughs> See, just like that. That's how you make traditional shortbread. Now, what we want to do, do is place them in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. So you're going to place them on some if, baking paper? Yes. On a tray? That's about five. And that's about 180. 180, yeah. We got our cast sugar. We just want to sprinkle it. Just want to do this. And they are ready to eat. Oh. Put in the oven. So off you go. Twenty minutes later. So guys, this is our shortbread. As you can see, we got some little tiny stars in this row. We got some like kind of cutted cookie ones they look like you know those mince pies those tiny little mince pies don't they they look a bit like that we've got some regular circled ones we've got another mince pie circle and another circle and we've got some long little fingers we've got three underneath and two on top they look really good they look like really good so i'm ready to taste them so let's go these are really tasty so i want to taste So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's so easy to make, they're lovely. They're so nice, they're really nice. I'm gonna eat not all of them, but most of them. <laughs> like, at least a good batch of them. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe, check in the link so you can download more videos. Share this video with your friends. See you in the next one. Check out these other awesome videos by me, Chess TJI. Don't forget to like and subscribe!